and, and doing all of this. I'm, I'm grateful for you all. And so I basically just, if you could just check my work, that's the first time I've ever done that. And I knew, I do know that some negativity left, I absolutely. Um, but I'm just wanting to see if we got it all. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what, 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 no, what, and I'm going to let you handle this, Phil, because I'm going to go to the restroom. <laughs> right. What, what? TMI, TMI. Where's Rhonda? Is she gone? I'm right here. Oh, right. Sorry. It's just it, it all went round. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll try and channel in to get into the house and I'll send <laughs> lot, lots of love energy in. Uh, I'll create like a an halo above it and I'll send love energy if there's anything dark in there you can all join me if you want if there's anything dark in there it'll just cleanse away anyway because they, they can't Please. handle they can't have a, a, handle eye vibration wonderful so, thank you okay so what I'll do is I'll connect to you Rhonda you visualize okay. where you did the eat where you did the cleanse Great. and try and focus going there and we'll try and uh, if you want to help us, you can. Uh, we'll try and send uh, like a love energy, like an eye vibration, angelic, probably blue light or something. So, what sort of building is it? So I know. It's a house. And they had a lot of their uh, trouble, obviously. Yeah. All right. What I've picked up, there was still a bit. You've cleared most of it. It was before the art building was built. Is there was some not nice stuff done, and some things were buried. Ah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm so I'm so feeling today. I'm doing other things. Uh, I've I've cleaned I've, I've cleaned it all. It's in the land. It's not the building. It's the land uh, the inside, underneath. Okay. A lot that of would make a lot of sense. Yeah, a lot of secrets there. They're, they're not secrets now. Right. Do you pick anything, Deb? De or not? No. No. Right. Yeah, so uh, yeah, you did a good job, but it wasn't the building, it was uh, inside the land, and it was not just the one, it was quite a lot. So, oh. So uh, whatever happened there was not nice, I'm not even saying it. 
Oh my. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, it must be this whole area then. Uh, all right. That that would make a lot of sense. Well, thank you for doing all of that. I'm I'm very grateful. Um, I was wondering if you could also um, do a body scan and um, do any healing for Sandy. Hi. Okay. Do you want to do the body scan? Then I'll do the healing. Okay. Especially. Yeah, I'm good. Rhonda, can you speak again so we can get up? It's, it's, it's go ahead. It's for me, Sandy. I'm new and would like a body scan and a okay. healing. Is there anything that you need specializing on or just healing? I would say that I have some but. arrhythmia in my heart. You also have a block. You also have blockage in one of your arteries that's going to be cleared up too. Thank you. Do you know, Deb, I was picking a blockage. Yeah, I did know that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She grabbed me, so I was hoping you guys were doing something. <laughs> I felt it. Yeah. You will you will feel it that's a good thing so the timing of your um your heart it the electronics of your heart is being repaired thank you thank you like your uh, respiratory system is going to be um also repaired uh, because the timing of your heart it, the fluid in your lungs um is all was also being built up so you're going to feel your breathing improve it, as, a, as well, um, this is gonna stay with you. The healing is gonna stay with you for the next three days. So you're gonna feel um, this wonderful energy within you. Actually, it's gonna stay with you for five days. Creator just corrected me. You're gonna feel this warmth or a vibration in your body for the next five days. So this healing energy is going through all the arteries. It's gonna go through the electronics of your heart and all the arteries and the respiratory system. He's I feel it. I yeah. feel a warmth in my heart already. Yes, you're gonna to wanna to drink a lot of water. I was gonna say that, you beat me. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know, you beat me. What I would do is when you drink it, think of an happy moment in your life. As you're drinking it, think of an happy moment in your hands as you're drinking it. Yeah. Okay. Lift Lift the water vibration. Yeah. He's also clearing the car carotid artery in your neck. I do think all the other things that Deb's saying is creating the problem. Yeah, it's not the art that's creating them. So the you're not actually seeing the proper problems. It's it's that's it's creating the art. But obviously we can't diagnose because we're not doctors, but that's what I'm picking up going through your circulatory system in your body right now. Thank you. Are you sending an energy through her crown right now? Because I see Source doing that. Yeah. Okay, I see a very, very beautiful, like a vortex, white diamond energy going through the crown of your head, and going through your whole body and doing this beautiful energy, aligning your chakras wow. all the way down through your, into, through your body going right down to your, through your toes. Oh my God, I just got goosebumps. <sighs> <laughs> you 
You're all tuned up, lady. Thank you. Just sitting next to her, I'm like on fire. Yeah. Yeah, I feel the heat. I, I feel it. Wow. One thing, don't don't let don't keep negativity. Anything negative, just let it go. Yes. That, I'm that, working on that. Yeah. Yes. Anything negative, let it go. Don't let anything worry you. Nothing. You've got five days of this healing that's gonna that's gonna stay with you. Okay. Wow. And, and thinking about the problem can make the problem worse because you've got fear then you, you're worried about it let it go yeah. understand positive, totally positive thoughts thank you so much thank you i appreciate right. it thank you guys love you love you okay let's see All right, thank you, Miss. Aurora Rose, there's a question about anything I need to know regarding my recent work and future work. Sorry, you guys don't hear my little one in the background, so I apologize. Let's see that after. Hi. 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 <laughs> Have you been doing more in the last few months? I doing what? More spiritual work. I have, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can feel that. As soon as I sort of was reading it, I could pick that up. Uh, you're doing brilliant. You're really doing brilliant. Uh, just carry on. No. The only thing is remember to have a break from it now and again. Don't overdo yourself. And remember, self-healing as well is as important as healing everyone else or helping everyone else. Yeah. Be a little selfish yeah. now and again. Okay. Yeah, I had to take a break from time to time. Hmm. Yeah. You know, just Father's saying that there, the ones that need you are going to come to you. Don't ever forget that because your light is so bright. And there's so much that's going to be happening soon. They're all going to flock. The ones that are so confused are going to start coming to all the ones that they know have the knowledge. You're not going to have to and look I, for it. You're not going to have to look for it. They're going to be coming to you. I openly welcome them into my existence so that I can help guide them. Well, you're not going to have to, you're not going to work. You're going to be so busy. So enjoy the downtime. That's, um, and, and that is, that goes for everybody that's listening to this. Enjoy the downtime because it's going to be very, very, very busy soon. Okay. Now the other Are you getting the same information, is, Phil? Hmm? Are you getting the same information, Phil? So oh, sorry. Oh, you mean? Are you, getting, get, are you getting the same information, Phil? Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, what Bob yeah. is saying to me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's going to be uh, weird times this year. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people were waking that I, I didn't think they, they they didn't even know about spirituality. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, There's going to be a lot of questions. A lot of people that. Um, mm. And they're going to know who to go to. They're just going to instinctively know. And it's going to be a lot of the people in this room right now. Well, it's people, um, are, yeah. people will find information and they'll be in shock because they, they won't understand. So yes. they're, they're the ones we need to help. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So the other question I have is for my son. And I've heard that he's going to have a major role in everything. And was wondering what you guys pick up with him. Can we see him? Baba, come here. Come here. Hey, they want to see you. Come say hi. Come say hi. No! <laughs> Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael. Oh, that is awesome. That right there. Yeah. Yes. 
Hello, little one. I'm light. I'm here. Yes, you are here. <laughs> I'm light. So it's light. Okay, so I will definitely have to do my research and figure out how to work with him on developing that. He already sees that. He's already clairvoyant. Oh, yes, he is. I could not trick him when it came to Christmas. No, not right now. Okay, fine. Yeah, he's got all the, he's got all the clairs. Hi. You know what I'm picking up as well? Uh, he could, yeah. do, grid, he could yeah. do grid work and he can do light language when he's older. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Wendy picked up on dragon light language with him. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God, she's so powerful. Oh, my gosh. My, I'm getting goosebumps again. He'd be out, he'd be out of control, dragon light, into the grids. That's awesome. He's definitely infatuated with dragons and has a little one that he carries around all the time. That's because he sees his dragons. Mm. He's got, I think he's got a dragon guide as well. Yes, he does. <laughs> I'm one proud mommy. Yeah. He should be. He's um, he's amazing. He's got such a beautiful energy. Mm. You look in his eyes. I, you can see. You can see. I just worry about how everything down the road is going to affect him with his Hi. father. No, it, it's, he's going to be fine. Okay. Hi. Have no fears. Have no worries. He's going to be fine. Okay. Hi. Yeah, his it's, father it's, is definitely a dark. Yeah, his father is definitely a darker, lower vibrational soul. It's how you handle it, don't you know? You, okay. as long as you handle the loving, the loving positive side, that's it's that's all that matters. And um, never say anything negative about his father. Oh no. The other thing, when I'm I, not going to hide the truth. Yeah. No. When I was that age, I used to do light language, and every everyone thought I had something wrong with my brain. So if he does speak gibberish or anything like that, just let it flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. He definitely has been speech therapy and has been. Mm. Um, so I I was wondering about that. I I, I used to go to speech therapy. They thought I was, I had brain damage until yeah. I was nine, until I was hello. nine, nine, hello, <laughs> until I was nine, <laughs> until I was nine year old, they thought I had something wrong with my brain, because I used to speak a lot of time, a lot of times I used to speak and no one understood me, but I understood the re when people spoke to me and I thought I was speaking normal and I, that was damped down, that was really damped down and it, it some of it was ancient song. So he might be able to do ancient song if, it, if it's connect, connected to the angelic world. So uh, he, he might be able to make things happen with his words. So. There's one uh, Gaelic song that I sing to him called Hinina Morbina, and he loves that. Hmm. You don't have to sing it now. <laughs> Right. All right. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. bye. Yes, you do have. Tama, Van Sant. Hello. Hi. Tama. So, I, I, I'm reading it. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Sorry. She struggles with uh, PMS issues um, that affect her life so deeply and also, also affects her finances. It's uh, physical, mental, and her lower back is uh, in a lot of pain. Um, she doesn't want to have to get a hysterectomy. I'm waiting for Rick to come back. He's, our, our animals are acting up again, our kitties and the birds, and here we go. Do the scan. Show us some healing. Show us some healing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you, if you have, give me permission. Okay. It'll be from your crown chakra, so it'll go it'll go through you. Oh, your chakras. Actually. Uh, Tamara, you also have a, um, an attachment on your back. You have two. It's probably why one it is um one's on the lower back and one is in the middle of the back. One's an elderly man. The other one seems to be a 12 year old. An older boy. Elderly man's name is Howard. Howard. Howard Lickman. Lickman. Howard. He's eighty four. Mother Mary's here. She's going to help him. He just knows he doesn't know who Mother Mary is. He just said, who's the pretty lady? <laughs> Should know. Uh, you should know he was attracted. Howard was attracted to your light, which is why he um, attached to you. So now he sees Mother Mary's light. Now she's explaining to him what, that he has the same light inside of him.
Okay, Lord's God with Mother Mary. <clears throat> The little boy. His name is Jason. Well, well, thirteen. Well, almost thirteen, he says. He's almost thirteen. Here. Jesus is here to me. He's released himself now. He's gone to the light as well. Mario right, we healing the spine now. Now. Have you had a lot of trauma in your life? Yes, I've had quite a bit. You've got to try and find a way of like releasing it. Is there any, have you got any of it that you've kept to yourself? Uh, yeah. What, what you've got to do, you not here, this is not the right place to do it. You've got to find someone, someone who you trust or, or isn't going to use it, and you've got to tell them you're owning that problem. And that problem is creating a lot of problems in, in all your life and your body. And these this could be quite a young age, but you're keeping these problems and you're owning them, you've got to release it, you've got to share it with someone. And that, that is the best way you can, uh, you can recover from everything. I'm not guaranteeing that, but you've got to share it with someone. I would not recommend it here, definitely not. But it's no, I wouldn't do someone like a relative. I'd try and find someone. No. Yeah, I, I, I would try and find someone who you trust and just tell them. And if you cry a lot by doing it, you're releasing it. You need to release this. And that's, I pick that up right through then, all, all the time. When I was given healing, you probably felt, you might have felt, you might not. That's all I got. I felt it. Mm. You need to release the ownership of what's happened in your life. Most of them, it's not your fault. You, you've got the whatever, whoever's hurt you in the past and everything. You've got to send them love. You got to break it. They haven't hurt you now. You own your your sovereignty yourself. And you've got to just release it and let it go. I, I know it's hard. I know it really is difficult. But once, once, when you release a little bit, you'll feel better. You'll feel lighter. And all of a sudden, it's like a roller coaster, and it can create an awakening as well. And uh, I've had, I've had a few things that I, I, I didn't even know. I couldn't even remember them. But once one thing you say, sometimes it, so one of them was just to 
to say sorry to someone because I didn't treat them nice. I actually apologised them. But then I found out that, hold on, I was own, owning something when I was seven, and I, I now remember it. And you'll feel lighter, and you'll feel, you'll, you'll feel like a release, like a new person. And th this might help all your, all your problems. Okay. Okay. I have started working a little bit with somebody. That's excellent. And yeah, I uh, I'm a little scared to do it by myself. Um, but but you, you can't you can't do it by yourself. You still own it. You've got to have someone and share the problem, share the difficulties you've had in your life. And I think some of it is the stuff that I don't remember too. That's really bothering yeah. me. Like. I, I remember like being taken into an attic, you know, but not know what happened and that kind of like eats at me a little bit. What what happens? Don't let it eat you. Release yeah. the stuff that you remember. And once you release the stuff that you remember and tell, uh, release the ownership, then the things that you don't remember start coming through. But you don't want to release everything in one big, big lot because you'll have a vacuum in your in your head and that will be even worse. That'd be worse to to, to release every, all your bad memories and all your traumas and everything in one ear. Just release a bit at a time and fill the space with love in your head. Yeah? Yeah. So, for me and for them. Hmm. I can feel you've just released it by telling us all that you have got a trauma. You've had problems, but you haven't now. You've got, you're letting them go now. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I feel some relief. <laughs> I can feel it. You, you look a different person. Like <laughs> two minutes, within two minutes, you look a different person. Good. When you send them love, you're actually you're actually healing yourself, mm. and you're releasing that responsibility of their issues. Mm -hmm. Because when you don't re when you don't forgive them and release it, you're carrying their problem that their issues in your brain and why are you carrying their issues yeah. they're the ones that own it <laughs> it's them not you so okay. yes so you you had two you had the two attachments which were a pain in your back and that they you know we have to remember that sometimes when people leave this planet they don't know the, to go to a light to the light some have a religion and they have their beliefs, they believe in heaven and hell. So that's where they're gonna go when they, you know, they go to whatever their religious beliefs is or whatever they believe in. But some people have none of that. Some people were caught in the recycle of um, uh, the, um, the recycle, and what was that called when you died and you went to the recycle? Uh, reincarnation. Uh, reincarnation recycle, that, that some were caught in that and a lot of them are now leaving the, the planet and they, and they expected to go into that and, it, and it's no more it's gone so they just you know they don't know where to go they mm -hmm. so they're now attaching to people they're attaching to people that they see and that are light light workers and we're removing so many rick had two <laughs> one of them actually saw your pain and was trying to help you but didn't know how to yes yeah so they're they're going they're going towards light workers light people that have this beautiful light around them. So many of you are going to have attachments, or they're going to jump on you because they don't know where to go. They think you're the light. So don't don't be afraid and don't go into fear. But if you have back pains or pains in the arm or shoulders suddenly that's really painful then you know call on one of us and we'll you know we'll scan you and we'll send them to the light and they they go really quickly you know they they understand <laughs> they're not vicious they're 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 they didn't know what to do and usually you know jesus or mary comes and they'll just take them to the light and a lot of them are children that are you know that 12 year olds and that have been um in the tunnels or that have been and, you know, they don't know anything. Deb, the, of them. Deb, Deb, the anger, <laughs> the ones that are anger, angry, tend to be confused and they've turned into anger. Yes. You, just, you just send them love. It just disperses yeah. it all. It's amazing how love can just 
all the problems have gone. Yeah. They're, they're scared of going. So you, the younger ones are scared to go go on yeah. because normally they weren't very nice in this life. And you just send them love and they forget about it. We haven't right. had too many anger ones. I've had I've had one or two anger ones, but that was a year, year and a half ago. But um, I haven't had very many. Yeah. So we, we, we've had a lot of a uh, lot of attachments. They're scared, but base they're scared to go on that song. Yeah. I kind of thought I had an attachment, so mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I clean houses every day, so it sucks to have my back hurting all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yes! yes. Yeah. I, it's not going to be hurting now. Excuse me, son, cheering the football he just scored. All right. Let's see, Zach. Um, were you done? Were you done with um, with her? Oh, is that? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Were you were you complete? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any, you have any more, Tama? Mm -mm, no, I'm good. Okay, sweetheart, love you. Love you too. All right. Yep, I'm here. Hey guys. Hey. Hey, can I grab a scan? Um. I'd really like to see what's kind of going on with everything, but uh, probably the main priority would be. You, you, you've got whatever. some. You've got some on your mind. What is it? A worry. But some on my mind. My my sinuses and stuff. I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to actually be able to breathe normal and properly again. It'd be great. But <laughs> three years of this has been enough. Wow. Okay, I'll try and breathe. You got a polyp in your sinus. Okay, so dissolving the polyp. So have um, allergies. You have seasonal. You have seasonal allergies. But... You have a neighbor that's. Uses some kind of chemical. So a couple times a year, you're. Do they do they do crop spraying near near you? Zach. Could be. They, there there are a couple farms and horses and all sorts of stuff around me. That stuff is really affecting your sinuses. I can see planes spraying stuff. Yeah, there's been quite a bit of spraying from the uh, chemtrails and stuff as of late as well. No, I'm just I'm talking about like when they when they grow they grow things in your area. I'm not talking about now. I mean, I'm talking about when you're when they have crops. That is affecting your sinus. It's really bad when they when they're growing things in the in season. They spray for bugs it gets in the air and it's really really bad for you you are highly susceptible to that whatever they're spraying for 
whatever chemical is really messes with your sinuses. That's father showing me it. It's almost like Roundup. It's what it's whatever they use to kill the um, pest, the pest, like a pesticide. It's toxic. Anyway, so he's showing me that that um, it gets in your, it's in the air and it, it's in the water and it's in the um, whatever they use. It gets in the ground and when they water, so that's what's irritating your sinuses so bad in that area. So I've removed the polyp. That's yeah. should improve it. Dev, I was picking up an allergy, but I, yours makes sense. It does make a lot of sense. I was trying yeah. to work out, I was trying to work out what allergy and they, they couldn't, there's nothing in the it's, household. There's it's, nothing in the yeah. household, so it does It's outside. Is there That's any, uh, any barrier or anything that Crater will put up to uh, block that out? Phil's the expert on that. Trying to work it out. <laughs> I've never been asked this one before. Uh, I don't know. It's so I'm, hard because... Um, I'm not saying wear a mask. I'm not saying that. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, how do you breathe when you go out? Do you breathe through your nose or mouth? Hmm? Nose, typically. Try and change it. I, I don't know why I was given that one. And I was thinking, I can't say it. I can't say that. <laughs> Try that. Uh, I've sent a little uh, download in your brain as well to try and uh, try and get your your body to counteract it a bit. So when I was healing, I, you might have felt something clocking in your head. It's a little, little uh, code for your brain, program in your brain. But I would try and breathe through your mouth as well. So it's strange how I knew you was through your nose because you're picking everything up, aren't you? You have to do it through your mouth. But uh, see what the code does. It might ignite when you, it might start, you might feel it when you're breathing it in. Yeah. Hopefully it'll help. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, there might, there might be a, um, a better air filter for your house too, for the air conditioner that you may have to buy for you when you have the AC on in the, in the summertime. Or I'm not sure, is there a special air con no, filter now? I don't know. I have really bad sinuses too. I'm asking father. He's saying, be patient. Things are changing. It won't always be like this. It, it will be changing. Well, he does know best. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, I'll let you get to the next. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. There's only 17 more questions. <laughs> Captain. She asked Phil. Can, can I ask how we can protect our energy light body from the negative energies coming from excessively using technology slash TV 
which the darkness is sending signals to fracture the light energy slash column in our bodies. Also, how can we protect against the chemtrails containing metals to block out the light DNA upgrades from the central sun so we can assimilate these new upgrades? The problem is this technology is, uh, some of you might not resonate with this, but it's alien technology. So we do get alien, we get stuff that's coming through it shouldn't be coming through. But, but I think just part of protection around uh, all the IT stuff is intent. Do uh... organise help. To organize help. Organize help. Organize. 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 Yeah. They're like crystal pyramid type thing. Mm. I don't buy anything. I don't buy into anything. Mm. Um, you know, I asked all these questions of creator. And, you know, and I, people put, oil over their electric meters and smart meters for electricity they're thinking they're protecting themselves and creator says you know why do you doubt my my energy or my ability that's inside of you you are the power you yourself all you have to do is bring through your you are the one bring through your own energy to protect yourself put a, put a blanket of protection over yourself i am you know i woke up in the middle of the night because I was dreaming of dragons coming down and protecting my house. They were on my roof. Now, for some reason I was putting protective dragons and I was, and I never, I never dream, never. And if I dream and I remember it, it it's very stable. Did I freeze up again? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 was, <laughs> I was dreaming and I never remember dreams. And if I do dream and remember it, it's for a specific reason. I had dragons on my roof protecting my home for some reason. And I woke up in the middle of the dream, remembering every bit of it. So I had all these dragons and there was a big barrier of protection around my home. And I was told that it would stay there indefinitely, all these dragons. So, for, and then it, and then I have put, I put them around all of my the friends and families, members that I know on Earth, and in this Earth plane. So, apparently, there's a reason for that. As we go from three so, okay. D, it's transition from three D to five D. Basically, they're they're trying to block that possible that that happening, and the way that's happening is that they're putting a new DNA uh, column of light through us, which can be shattered or... Um, it was on Alba's... Um, one of somebody she interviewed the day, and I, and I thought, okay, I need to be... I, I mean, I just live... Everybody these days lives on technology, and we need to... They're saying, spend more time... Be away from... Spend time away from technology, go into nature, meditate, chant, do everything to just keep... Uh, some distance, not distance, but um, have times where you intend to use it, but then times you don't use it and be very mindful of that is a perfect, if, it, if they had to have any tool that would manipulate and block those upgrades, most people use technology all of the time. Can, so we, we need to... Uh, I'll, sorry, I'll, I'll, sorry. I'll, I can answer both questions. The, yeah, thank uh, you. Yeah, great. The, the downloads they were doing from Orion, yeah. It's, been, it's been destroyed. It's Hooray! Not, it's not coming here now. Uh, we did a secret event. Uh, you lot are the only ones that know. We dated and uh, it's been completely gone. It, we, can't, we can't do it. Okay. I didn't really want to say it. You won't be seeing the video because it was uh, it was awful. Uh, Yay! Orion, Orion is well done, very, guys. Orion is a, is a very charcoal like volcanic planet and it's awful it's very dense very negative so that one sorted the second one about because we've got them here uh i was given then you can put rock crystal cleanse it in moonlight and program it to protect you from anything from the it any anything coming through 
and just put it next to your next put put it next to your IT. You I don't have to do it on the phone, I don't think, but just put it in like you could put three pieces in a triangle if you want, but one piece will still do it. Get it and when you program it, hold it and uh, it within turn, focus on it, program it, what you want it to do. Take out anything that is negative in your house. Close any portals in your house that shouldn't be there. Yeah, a anything of only but I vibe in your house. So I would, I would use crystals. Any particular ones so... or? Rock crystal, because you can program that to do anything. All the others have it, that, just rock clear crystal. Uh, not glass, obviously, just rock. Uh, bigger the better, I suppose, but you can program that to do anything, all the other crystals. Wonderful, thank you. And the other thing, as I mentioned, and um, maybe relate, related uh, to Zach, um, is uh, we, we've been made aware that they are sending up the chemtrails at the, the planes at the minute to put metals in our atmosphere to block some of the um, DNA that's coming through at the minute, or the light. Yeah, I, I, stuff. I've even heard they might be putting chips in it. More. Uh, I don't like chips, but I know. Is there anything? I suppose that's harder again, as if it's in our atmosphere. But um... there's a lot of grid work going on at the moment, so I, I couldn't tell you if it, it will. Help. Well, it should help anyway. But uh, I'll, I'll think. I'll, I'll I'll work on that one. I'm not sure, but Thank I haven't done anything on that one. So. Right. No, thank you. I just was aware of that, and I thought. I've been hearing locally um, a lot of the planes, and I'm thinking, why? Wrong time of year, uh, you know, and it's like old industrial planes I'm hearing. I'm, it's made me very alert to them. I'm thinking, that's not right and not normal, which would suggest that they are putting chemtrails out there at the minute for, for real purposes, you know, they might other than to. farming. I was just so told... So maybe that's what Zach is picking up as well. Yeah, I was told a, a flash would do it, so... Uh, an angelic flash, so uh, I might have to do another job shortly. Sorry to give you more work, Phil, but yeah, bless you. It's, it's you. okay, it's fine. <laughs> more than Appreciate better. that, thank you. Okay. Okay. Looks like we lost almost everybody. Is Ben here? Let's see. We had a healing for Ben, but he already left. Yeah. Um, Stan, we've already done. Stan is gone. Let's see, Ben. Answers, I'm so, I mean, we have 125, 125 messages. There's so few of us in the room. Um, whoever's left, Reinhardt, Denise, Sarah, Eliza, did you have questions or uh, requests or Dina? I, I know. Has been requested a scan if you have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? June. <laughs> June? Denise, what, what is his name? I'm sorry. Good. June. <laughs>
to um, creators bring me right to your heart and uh, the bells around it. blockage in one of your arteries. Not totally blocked, just part, um, just set, had some um, plaque in one of them. It's been removed. Heart muscle itself had uh, timing. The timing was off. And that's been corrected. The respiratory system has been healed. You have um, an issue in your stomach. It's like an inflammation. You have a, a throat. Your throat's you have like a sore throat and you're dripping, which is causing inflammation in your stomach. Do you want any healing, by the way? Hmm? Do, do, do you want healing? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, okay. Please. Yes. I know the next one, just sure. So I'm going from his throat. Your sinuses, your, your sinuses, your throat. It's all combined. It's your stomach. Going into your ears. Both ears. Your knees have also healing your knees. Yes, thank you. Your knees and your hips. It's gonna do an adjustment in your hips, which are affecting your knees. The bottom of your spine and your hips do an adjustment. Thank you. And your ankles. Oh, there goes Raphael. He's doing a thing through your crown. <laughs> I, <hear it. laughs> I can see it. Why oh, he's tingling? <laughs> yeah. Raphael does the crown. He's going. He's putting this beautiful energy through your crown. Body's just lit up. It's beautiful. But this energy is going to stay in your body for just at least three days, probably four. Drink a lot of water. And, well, Raphael's going to tell you what to do with the water. I'm not going to take his, because uh, he, he has a special way of doing it. 
let, I'll let him finish. Thank you. Okay. A lot of times when he's pain in other parts, it goes to Quran, but I, I, I don't send it through the chakras, I send it through the nervous system. Well, <laughs> I, saw this, I saw this lightning bolt going through him. I knew it was you. It wasn't me. <laughs> I've, never t I've never told that anyone before. Uh -huh. it's, easy, it's easy to send one to your ear. The nervous system goes all around your body. It's easy to direct it to certain areas. <laughs> Well, oh. Rick's energy was, was, I was doing the, Rick's energy was going through and I could see it's like a movie. And then all of a sudden I saw this lightning bolt going through. I was like, well, that's not creator. It's Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> when you said that, I changed from that to that. And that's a, that, that's a, tu that, that's a tuner. It, it can pull things out, but it can also tune the energy to uh like that's beautiful a, yeah, thank you i love working with you are you kidding <laughs> this is so much fun it's all play yeah. <laughs> yes thank you thank you and i'm feeling it thank you you're welcome i also have this lingering energy that uh, sometimes when i close my eyes like a shadow and it's i can't seem to get rid of it it's not a bother but it's almost like I know that there's something there and sometimes it it just appears just like a shadow floating can you you have a lingering energy aren't you an angelic <laughs> aren't you an angel <laughs> I believe we all are do you, know, do you know what? Well, I, I oh, think, but aren't you? It, I think you're seeing things that you, normal people don't see. You, you, you're breaking the veil a bit. Yeah, I, I, I think. Don't get worried if it's not doing you any harm, uh, and it's not stuck. No, no, it's, it's nothing like that. And sometimes it's uh, it's almost like. Uh, an energy that okay i need to sleep stop something like that and uh you're clairvoyant it, hmm. you're clairvoyant so you see more than just the shadow oh no. it's is it isn't it is it one of your guides have you asked what is it and and gotten an answer i've i've asked uh, multiple times but there's this one particular that's just lingering and it's almost like um, I know it's there, but it's not doing any harm. And uh, I try to speak to it, but it's just not uh, showing. And it only appears it's when I'm going to sleep. And it's just that moment that if after I say my prayer and I close my eyes, I see uh, that uh, shadow that lingers and then it's gone. It's one of your guides. Have you, have, you, have you tried communicating? Is that what you're going to say? Yes, I tried yeah. communicating, yeah. but it, it's just uh, that. It, it's, it's, it's not uh, <laughs> giving me any message, but I know it's there. Then all of a sudden it's gone. It's not negative. It's not negative. It's not negative. No. I know it's negative, but the presence, I feel the presence and um, it's just not communicating and I've been trying, I've been trying to uh, communicate and I hear, I hear things. I, I, sometimes I see things uh, visually and I know that um, whenever it comes, even if I don't understand it, I know that I accept it and it's okay. But there's this one particular shadow that it's just there all the time. Man. It's, uh, sometimes it's annoying. Why, why, why is it telling me it's an ancestor? So, almost like it's, um, 
like a guide, but they call it the ancestor. You know, I'm picking up Egypt, actually. Egyptian. A what? Egyptian. Really? Hmm. That's what came into me. Was he an Egyptian before? I may have. <laughs> Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. Interesting. Very interesting. You were in Egypt before. It's almost like it's protective. Which is why it shows up right when you're going to sleep. It's got like warrior, it's a bit warrior sort of thing. Yeah. Like it's protecting him. It's definitely not negative. Very interesting. It might be that because of uh, who you are, what you are, the energy, you're attracting dark stuff and it's appearing to say no and warning. It's like a protect, it's like a, yeah. <laughs> when, when you light up, you attract things that you shouldn't attract and you can't help it because we are, that's what we, we are but <laughs> you, you've got something there that uh, will basically stops them hmm. yeah. yeah it's not there to harm any or or hurt at all it's not i mean it's really not a negative energy at all yes thank you yeah Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, which is, uh, I mean, I always say in my heart, and, um, you know, we've had some pretty uh, intimidating world. We've had a lot of demons and stuff that come and try and scare us. And we ask them to dance and put some music on that we really love. That <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> they leave. <laughs> they don't like anything to do with love. <laughs> <laughs> they leave. <laughs> Anything that you say, love, well, come here, come dance with us. <laughs> Out of there. <laughs> they want to scare you. They want to scare you, and and because they feed off of negative, they feed off of fear and 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 hate and everything. So that's what they feed off of. And if you're not giving them that, then they leave. <laughs> 